All right, Shalom, Shalom. Call Lady La Yahal Bashim Yahal Shah Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great most on top of truth and double side taste to all you Akim. You men that are prophesying the name throughout the four ones of this earth, person is true without righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. All right, to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. Coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit of Pranayam Bashim Yahal Shah. And we're going to get straight to the point. All right, this is not going to be long, all right? And this lesson is going to be entitled, The Elect Shall Praise His Holy Name. Because the elect, all right, starting with the 144,000 and the one-third men, women, and children that are going to be saved out of the time of Jacob's trouble and out of the times that we're heading into, okay, they have the full names, okay? And you have to know those names, all right? You have to know those names and, you know, not calling on Jehovah, uh, yeah, um, Yahushua, Yahuwah, white man, Jesus Christ, and all these false names, okay? And the Bible tells you that none of those names should come out of your mouth, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, you know what? I'm start off with that scripture because, hey, we don't supposed to make, hey, we're not supposed to make no niche mention of other names of other gods. I believe that's Numbers 23 and, hold on, let's see, I might have to. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see that scripture. No, nah, that's something else, but that's a good scripture, but that's not the one I'm looking for. I might have to go. Uh, let's see. Uh, how did scripture go? Other guys. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what we get. It's lucky. Hold on one minute. What I'm to go in the description. Let's see. Well, this is a good one right here. Exodus 23, Miss Lucky 20 and 3. Alright, this is one of the laws, okay? Alright. Exodus 20 and 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And that's right. We don't supposed to have no other gods. Not mentioning other gods' names. The only gods we supposed the only God we supposed to have. Of the true power, okay, which is Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, and the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, okay, that's right, that's part of our law, this is what I'm looking for, uh, right here, Exodus 23 and verse 13, and in all things I that I have said unto you be circumspect, and make no mention of the names of other gods, neither let it, let it be heard out of thy mouth, that's right, we don't supposed to let no other names of other gods. Only the true father, the only names we're supposed to be saying is Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, ba, uh, ba Shem, the name of, okay, Yahweh Shai, all right, which is the name of the uh, Son, our Lord and Savior, okay? Those are the only two names we're supposed to be saying. Not Jesus Christ, not Jehovah, not Yahushua, not Yahuwah, not all these other false gods' names. Not, not Allah. And all the word Allah just means power, okay? So, that's not even the name of the Lord, man, okay? So, look, we're supposed to, call, we're supposed to uh, know those names, and we're supposed to call on those names when we're praying, when we're fasting, etc., et okay? Even when we're in times of trouble, okay? Who two-thirds are going to call upon? Two-thirds going to be calling upon those names I just mentioned. And hey, what the Lord's going to do? Let's get it. Judges chapter 10 and verse 14. Uh, let's see. Mm. I'm going to start at verse 13. Judges 10 and 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So, hey, let them other gods deliver you. And, hey, a lot of two-thirds of you Israelites are going to be calling on, calling on, you know, JC, all right? <laughs> and, hey, nothing going to happen, okay? But the elect, we're going to call on Yahweh B'Shin Al-Shai. And, hey, the Lord Yahweh B'Shin Al-Shai is going to deliver us, man, okay? Uh, let's see. That, that's pretty much it for that one. I just want to make my point in that, okay? Because the times are coming where, hey, look, you're going to have to know those names, 
Let's see. Proverbs 20. Proverbs 1 and... Um, let's see. I'm going to start. I'm going to start up here. It's, uh, Proverbs 1 and 21. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. I will behold, I will make pour out, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. The Lord, how about Shia is making known his words to, to you, Israelites, man? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, because that's who this truth is for. You Israelites, not any other nations, okay? <clears throat> uh, verse 24. Because I have called, and ye refuse, I scratched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have said at all, said gnaw all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh. Okay, so the Lord, how about Shin Yashai, is going to laugh when your fear cometh. He's going to mock. And how he's going to do that? He's going to use the men of the Lord to do so. Because, hey, they, like I say, they just because things are reopening up and everything else don't mean shit, okay? Look, thank, Jacob's trouble is still going to happen regardless, okay? And hey, and when the times do come, you're going to have to know those names, okay? In order to be saved, all right? <clears throat> uh, verse 27. When your fear comes as desolation and your discretion cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? A lot of two-thirds of you Israelites are going to try to call upon a name. You're going to be calling on these false gods. Some of you even going to be trying to call upon the true names of you. How about Shin Yashai? Okay? Those of you who mock and said that the names don't matter, that, you know, <laughs> that, call, that it don't matter what you call, call upon, Okay, a lot of you, and you know who some of you Israelites are, the ones that are teaching that the names don't matter, that, you know, we don't have the true names. How could we have the name in Hebrew? And you know what group teaches that, man? I'm not going to say it, all right? But you know what group out there teaches that, that, that crap, that you can call upon, that you can call the Lord anything. You can call him, um, how do they call him, Yo Play Yogurt or uh, how did, what else? What else, what is that other one they call? Say, Christ and something, whatever, whatever it is, man. But nevertheless, guy, right, they teaching you not to call upon the names. Name Ma, and the same guy, and he's in their group. He was once teaching the names of Yahweh about Shin Yao Shai. So, <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, it is what it is, man. So hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, verse 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. How about Shin Yashai? A lot of you don't fear the Lord, man. Okay, you don't even fear the Lord. Hey, two-thirds of our own people don't fear the Lord, but they're about to, man. When all hell breaks loose and when this whole society collapses, then you're going to fear the Lord. How about Shin Yashai? Okay, and then a lot of you are going to call up on the Lord and hey, the Lord's not going to answer you, man. Okay. Now is the time to seek the Lord, and learn those names, okay? And learn the names and learn the names properly. And, and hey, and if any Israelite group telling you that we don't have the names fully, it's a fucking liar. Period, point blank. Excuse my language. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9, all right? For then I will return. Not, for then I will turn to the people a pure language, okay? And what's that language? Hebrew. Now, we don't have a full Hebrew, but we do have some Hebrew, all right? And how we know that we have some Hebrew? Because we're calling upon the name, all right? Let's read on. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to serve him with one consent. You see, this is already happening. So we must have the name. Come on, man. All right? Isn't like group out there teaching that we don't have the full names. We don't know the name. The name's not gonna give be given to us until <laughs> until Yahushai comes. And some folks calling on the name Yah. Yah means he, man. Are you preferring to our power as he? Okay? And a lot of you Israelites that know you Israelites, you calling on the name Yah. This um, or the most high Yah. Come on, man. No, you got to say his full name, Yahweh. Come on. 
He's just saying he. Okay, Yah means he. Hawa means is. Means he is. And, and Yahweh Shai, Yah means he. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai means he saves or he delivers. You have to call upon the full names. If you look, look, man. <laughs> All right, and if you, any group out there is telling you that you don't have to call upon the full name, or you just using the name, y'all, you're dead. You're dead meat, okay? Period, point blank. You're dead meat, okay? Because you have to call upon the full name. You just can't say most high y'all or most high, okay? That's not the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. Now, we do say most high, but we also, we may say the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh or the Lord, our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So, we do say that, but hey, we still say the name, okay? That don't, do we, that, that mean we don't have the full names? No, we have the full name. And we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's the full names. Because look at what's happening throughout the world, man, okay? Things are happening, okay? So, you have to have those names, okay? And only the elect is going to have those names, to be honest with you. The rest of the world and two-thirds of our people, well, we're going to be dealing with the rest of the world. So, you know, but this truth is only for the elect, man, okay? This is uh, Ecclesiasticus of Surat 17 and 10. It's not getting nine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start at verse 9. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding and hey the elect is declaring the lord's works yeah how about you shall with understanding verse 10 the point and the elect shall praise his holy name say what wait a minute let's read that again verse 10 and the elect shall praise his holy name so if the elect is praising his holy name it has to be yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So, what 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 what, be, what those Israelite camps and other groups out there got to say? Okay, and I ain't talking about GMS because hey, GMS starting with the elders and the apostles and the brothers on down. They're teaching the full names. They're teaching that we have the name, the hundred and forty four percent truth. I'm talking about other Israelite camp groups out there that's not telling the people, not warning of Jacob's trouble, not teaching the names of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai. What do you got to say about this? Come on, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to read verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for, an, for a heritage. And who is, who is, the, who is this knowledge and this law was given to you Israelites, man. Okay? The knowledge was given to the elect. And the law of light, this law is for you Israelites. Because we're under the law. Okay? He, uh, I'm going to read verse 12. He made an everlasting covenant with them. Who's the them? The Israelites. Not the whole world. Okay? The covenant is for the Israelites. Okay? The first covenant we was under. Okay? But we broke that covenant. And we're going to be under the second covenant, where the law, statutes, commandments will be written in our minds. Okay? All right? So, there you go. So, let me hold on, Snocky. <clears throat> uh, moment, Snocky. I have to do something right quick. Anyway, but like I was saying, man, hey, we know the full names. Okay? And we have to have those names. If we didn't have those names, hey, we not must the let, man. Okay? Period point blank. Alright. See. Uh here's more proof that we have the full name. Alright. This is Baruch chapter two and I'm gonna start at verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stick net people. And who's a stick net people, man? You Israelites. You Israelites are hard headed and stiff neck. All right, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, and we are remembering ourselves. We're coming back to the full knowledge and full understanding of who we are. We're not calling ourselves black, African American, Native American, Hispanic American, um, what's the uh, Puerto Rican, or none of those names. We are calling ourselves the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is our language, Israelites. 
is our nationality. All right, there you go. Verse thirty one, and shall and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Wait a minute. I thought the elect don't have the name. So if we're praising the Lord, and who is praising the Lord in the land of their captivity? It's no matter where we are. Although America, Babylon, the great, and other parts of the world where the Israelites are scattered because we got Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst all the Gentiles and heathen nations, okay? You're going to have Israelites over there in Japan, China, uh, England. Okay, you got Israelites all over the world. We were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, so this has to be true. Verse 32, let me read it again. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivities, wherever we are. All right, especially here in Babylon, the great America. And think upon my name. We're thinking upon the Lord's name. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Uh, verse 33, and turn from their stiff name and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. Yeah, but she shall shot. See? Okay. So, we have to have those names, man. Period, point blank. Okay. Uh, let's see. And like it says right here, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Shinyasha, is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and it's safe. You have to know the names in order, you know, to run into it. Okay. We call upon that name and hey, we're safe from anything, calamity. Okay. So there you go. Let's continue. Um, yeah, let's get this. This is Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 1. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, Yahweh, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thy anger is turned away, and thou conf confrontest me. Behold, how Yahweh is my, is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Yahweh, not Jehovah, okay, it's not Jehovah, okay, because there was no J's, no E's, no O's, no V's. So, his, look, <laughs> the Lord, Yahweh, Shiyah, had a Hebrew name, okay, all right, all right. For the Lord, Yahweh, is my strength and my song, he also is become my salvation. There you go, okay. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read all down. Verse three. Therefore, will joy shall with joy shall ye draw water out of the walls of salvation, and in that day shall ye say, "Praise the Lord, Yahweh Call upon His name. You have to know the names. Declare His doings among the people. Make mention that His name is exalted. Come on, man. There it is. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read on down. Verse 5. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. See? Okay. All right. Let's continue. All right. Okay. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the winds with his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? Is thou can tell. What is the Lord's Yahweh? What's the father's name? Yahweh. And it said, what is his son's name? Yahweh Shai. Okay. You have to know those names. Okay. Period. Point blank. Can't make that no clear. All right. I'll just clear that. All right. Um, uh, That's where I was. No one left off. All right. So there you go. We have to know those names. Okay. All right. Mm, let's see. Anything else I had? 
You know what? Let's get... Actually, I'm going to get two more. Because I forgot to put them in here. All right. This is uh, Joel chapter 2 and verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered. And who's going to call upon the name? Is this talking about everybody or is this talking about the elect? 144,000 and one third elect. Let's find out. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Uh oh. This ain't talking about everybody. As the Lord, Yahweh has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord, Yahweh shall call. See? Okay? So only in Mount Zion, which is the Mount of Israel, you Israelites, in Jerusalem, just talking about a people before a place, you Israelites, man. Basically, it's talking about you Israelites, okay? You know, only ones that can call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Let's get another one to prove that. All right, let's go to Acts 2 and 20. Yeah, right here. Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be saved. Now, Christian, and look at this. Be like, see, see, see? Anybody can call upon the name. See, that's talking about everybody. Hold on. Continue to read. You have to continue to read. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. It's not talking about everybody. Okay. The Israelites can call upon the name. All right. Starting with the elect, basically. The elect, because the only the elect is praising the holy name. All right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. The elect of Israel. Okay. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh. Among you by miracles and wonders and signs which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. See? There you go. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you get the bad man. I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. I pretty much made the point, but look. Only the elect is going to call, and only who, who's the elect? The Israelites, all right? You only, only the Israelites can be a part of the elect, all right? All right, so if you would call, okay, you know the name of Yahweh Shion Shai, only the elect is going to praise the name of Yahweh Shion Shai. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? So, I'm going to leave it right here. That's all I had, all right? I just want to do this little short and quick lesson, all right? So, with that, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. Call on your line, Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Bashin, Rakakadash, the lungs to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, taught me his truth, and double side taste, tell you, Akim, that you men that are proud, signing aim throughout the four winds of earth, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. All right, so on to the next video, to next time. Shalom, Barak, to the whole full and why, blah, 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 destruction to Babylon, the great America. Shalom.